It's a really um, interesting story. We started in 2014, actually in July. And uh, in that time, uh, we had uh, just like one full-time staff. And we were there just to ensure that everything goes well. We invest in the company. And uh, I and my brother, his name is Eric, who is the founder, uh, the CEO and the founder of Paris UIS. And uh, having a background in biotechnology and life sciences, I was very interested to, uh, to see how to provide more solutions using this new technology, uh, using UAVs. And uh, so we came together and, uh, with, a f with one of his friends, and um, him having that passion of uh, building drones, he built his first drone. And with that, we started just seeing uh, what can we do with a drone. Uh, in Rwanda and we started flying the drone just taking simple aerial photography, uh, photographs and video and then um, we started covering some events such as weddings and uh, musical events and it was quite interesting. Then we said what else can we do with this and we started approaching different uh, industries uh, especially um, agriculture sectors uh, meeting the agronomists, meeting different people in that sector to understand exactly what are their needs, uh, what they would love really to address as challenges that we can see uh, uh, what type of solution that can really work with for them. And uh, we came up with quite a range of advisory services that we can provide. We can do crop monitoring, uh, crop mapping, where you find farmers need to know exactly what is the size of the land. We are all devoted, committed, uh, to make sure that uh, all that we do is excellent and that we come up with new ideas and be able to address the challenges that we identify every day. And we uh, make sure that we carry our customers or those potential customers along with us because being a new tech, there's a lot of education, there's a lot of trainings, and uh, we did a lot of that even when uh, people were, in, were just showing us that they are not really very much interested because it's a, it's a new thing, but we had to go uh, office by office, um, having different meetings and doing different presentations to kind of show them that it is possible and we can actually add value to what they are doing. So this is one of the things that we had really to go through, especially the first two years and we were not yet really getting much out of it, but we were giving more of our knowledge, sharing our knowledge, sharing our techniques. And also one of the things, you know, because using drones, there's a lot of safety and security concerns around it. So we had to ensure that we have the right knowledge, the right skills in relation to uh, regulation, uh, so that when we talk to policymakers, when we talk to regulators, we speak their language, telling them, we're showing them that we understand and uh, we have following, we are following all that they're asking us to do and make sure that we are f um, fulfilling all the requirements. And this is one of the things that really helped us. We had to understand the regulation in the country and then uh, have everything uh, well structured in our company and they were really convinced that we are very serious about what we are doing. And the other thing is uh, having also the right environment. I believe Rwanda, we have a great leadership and uh, we really received the support that we needed to be able to grow. They really understood and encouraged uh, ICT uh, related um, uh, ideas or solutions to, they really drive, helped us to drive this. Uh, by putting in place the, that enabling environment for us to do it. So that, those are one of the key things because I know it may not be the same in other countries because each country has its own regulation or way of doing. But uh, if I have to speak uh, at our level, at our case, we really receive a, uh, a great support from uh, the country leadership. So um, those are one of those things that are very important. And definitely as um, entrepreneurs, we had to kind of really learn, if up to now, we keep learning, uh, trying to learn from different people and uh, trying to learn everything that is happening uh, 
in this industry and it has been exciting. Mm -hmm.